Hello everyone, in today's video I'm sharing with you my ride in store shopping haul. I did happen to come out to my local Rite Aid store again today, which is Friday, November the 17th. 2023 to take advantage of some really truly awesome in-store shopping deals if you have not yet had an opportunity to do so please be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as give this video a big thumbs up thank you so much for stopping by to take a look to see what exactly i picked up and brought on home so first of all, for this week over at Friday until tomorrow, which is actually Saturday, November the 18th, we do have an okay spend booster of spend $30 or more, before coupons, earn back $5 in bonus cash. Now, the awesome part about the spend boosters is you can go ahead and use like coupons and fun things like that to lower your out of pocket expense, but still end up going ahead and qualifying for the perk. So really, really hands on awesome when it comes to Rite Aid as far as that spend booster. So we have that going on. We still have the awesome hopefully fingers crossed never ending five off $15 or more purchase base coupons. We have those hot and ready five off $25 or more vaccination coupons. Now they're good through actually all the way into 2024. So it's really, really awesome that those coupons are still in use active and working for all of our couponing. So we also have bonus cash weekly deals as well as awesome rebates still taking place this week. So if you haven't had an opportunity to come out to Rite Aid, now is an awesome, awesome opportunity to start your way to saving money. So I did happen to come into a very differently stocked, different layout Rite Aid today. And one of the reasons why I like to like sort of avoid it is because it's not so coupon friendly and there has been some sort of like uh, interactions that haven't been the best with some certain individuals. So when I came into the store, my my heart rate was pounding and I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know, but, but I'm here. So I, I want to see if I can do the deals because I'm so good at couponing. So I was like, all right, get myself together. Come on, you gotta do this. So I, I had all these spend boosting coupon opportunities still out there. I still have another set that I can do another round and I'm trying to work out what's gonna be the best for my store's inventory. So I'll have to get back there again tomorrow. Hopefully I can post a video for you all to see. But first things first, I did happen to do a swing by. I couldn't find anything and then I'm looking up top seeing and I came across some crest cheap priced toothpaste. I was like, oh, what are the chances? I haven't been able to get my hands on this toothpaste all week long. And I've been out to Rite Aid, um, well, I can't say every day, but quite a few days out of the week. And I haven't been able to find it at any Rite Aid. So I went ahead and I came across it. I, I try and I'll try and pull up like a picture so you can see like what kind of um thing I had to deal with so it was actually like blocked off in the aisle I don't know if you all have like different displays or certain things like that but I will share with you the picture of where the Crest toothpaste was hidden you see this thing this is like a pro enamel display I actually pushed it out of the way and hidden behind these signs, which I'll see if I can zoom in to share with you. There's there's the signs for the Crest toothpaste. But if you look deep down, deep inside, bam, there they are, you see? So I went ahead and I picked up all six that they had. That's all they had. And I mean, granted, they're not like the greatest, greatest deal, but they're a pretty hot deal. And I had intentions of trying to put together like a different deal 
that I know one of the other YouTubers, which I go ahead and I, I follow, I'm subscribed and I watch. His name is Ravi Patel. If you have not had an opportunity to follow him, please be sure and follow him because really, truly, he has some really awesome deals that he puts together over on YouTube. But regarding like he had this deal that was like with the crust or be and I looked at my that store's inventory that I was at and it was like not there but these these toothpaste swore and I was like wow I have to, I have to get six so the deal is this week when you buy one the second one comes up 50% off so the lower price one rings up as the 50% off price and when you buy three this week you earn back five dollars in bonus cash with a limit of two. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, why can't I just buy three or just buy four? Well, at Rite Aid, it doesn't track. Like if you just buy one, it's not gonna track on your receipt that you bought one, you just need to buy two to get the $5 in bonus cash. And also the buy one, get one 50% off comes into play then where you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna buy one at the full price, buy a second one for 50%, but then that third one's gonna ring up Full price and there's not going to be a second one to discount like that so what you would want to do is you would want to pick up the six products to get the best benefit and best case scenario as far as bonus cash so at this store that I was shopping at again not the fantastic as steel but they're $2.89 regularly priced and I'll share with you all three different barcodes that were $2.89 at my store. Now the second one brings up $1.44, which is half the price of the $2.89. And then so it's like $2.89, $1.44, $2.89, $1.84, uh, $1.44, excuse me. And when you buy all six, you know, that guarantees that you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get back $10 total in bonus cash, five and five. Now, when you add up all those numbers together, you get only $12.99. So I was thinking maybe I could just, you know, throw in a little small filler and then maybe I won't even get up to 30 to do the spend booster. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and boost up this deal and I'm gonna go for it. And I decided I am going to possibly spend out of pocket and I am going to do rebates if I have to spend out of pocket. So I know they always have these, these Pure Zero um, conditioners or shampoos. And this one, it's 12 ounces. There is, and I bought a rebate. And it does have a limit of two. But it's $3.50 back when you buy one with a limit of two. So you pay $6.99 each. And you get back $3.50 each. I like buying more conditioner than shampoo because I go through uh, less shampoo comparison to conditioner. So meaning I go ahead and I use the conditioner more than the shampoo. So like say, for example, I have a dollop of shampoo. I will have a handful of conditioner. So I can always use extra conditioner. So I picked up those two. And then I was like, you know what? I want to use both a five off 15 and a five off 25 coupon in addition to the spend booster. So I know I always see like, I think I had saw Mrs. Empty Nester on YouTube going ahead and saying like she loves to pick this up. A lot of like YouTubers like to pick this up, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But if you have not followed or subscribed to Mrs. Empty Nester's channel on, here on YouTube, please be sure to do so. She shares some really awesome, wonderful, great sales and deals. And she has awesome deals to share um, for other different variety of stores too. So here's the UPC barcode as far as the Pure Zero shampoo that's dry shampoo, okay? And it's refreshing and it's fresh scent. I have never tried it before, this brand. But at my store that I was shopping at, it was $7.99. But when you buy one, you get back $4 each with a limit of two via Ibotta. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that deal, certainly. And here is how my transaction went. So I picked up all 10 items in one transaction. 
And the only coupons I had was the five off 15 and the five off $25 or more purchase space coupons. So I was like, okay, how am I gonna go throughout this without like panicking? So finally, once I had everything together, I come up to the cashier and I'm like, okay, this is gonna go smooth, new start, be friendly. Maybe they won't remember what happened and how we all had a bad experience. Maybe if you extra nice, extra nice things will happen. Fingers crossed. Okay. So the cashier scans through everything. And I'm like, okay, before you process my bonus cash, after I put in my number, please know I have some coupons for you to scan before you process it. Okay. So I give first. The spend booster, which I was utilizing the email barcode this round. Then I gave the five off 15 and then I gave the five off 25. No problems. So I was like, that's the only coupons that I have so you can process my, and then she's like, you know what? I think I have an extra three off 15 or something, but it beat because I wasn't above, you know, $55. So anyways, my subtotal was like $42.95 with everything. Okay, after my coupons, I went ahead and I paid $32.95 plus tax. So it went off like this. So there is my dry shampoo, dry shampoo. There is my Pure Zero Conditioners. There you will see each of my toothpaste. You see my first five off 15. You see the 50% off toothpaste, five off 25. See more toothpaste. There it is, $32.95. I paid $34.33. I didn't have enough bonus cash for this transaction. So I used up the $23.72 I had. I only got back $15 in bonus cash. Let's see what happened and what's going on with it. Okay, so keep in mind, I got my calculator here, so I spent, I'm gonna straighten it out, $34.33. I got back 15 and I got back 86 cents in points. That's my 430, okay? So that means 1847. All right, so I went ahead and I got back $5 for the Crest Oral-B Fixident, $5 for the Crest Oral-B Fixident, $5 for the email barcode. That's where my $15 in bonus cash came from. Then I went ahead and I submitted my receipt to Ibotta. I got back for the conditioner $3.50 and then another one, $3.50, $4 for the dry shampoo, $4 for the dry shampoo. So you add those two numbers together, you got $15. I already told you the points that I went ahead and I got back. Okay, so I got $15 in I bought a money. So yes, I spent a little bit out of pocket, which is fine. So this transaction for all these fun and exciting items, it cost me $3.47. Now here's the secret that I don't know. I didn't check yet before filming or anything. I think I have a Crest bonus cash challenge under the account that I shopped under, if I'm not mistaken. But even, you know, prior to filming this, I did not double, double check, but before it hits midnight, I'm gonna make sure I unlock it if so. If so, I think it's something like spend $26, get back $7 because I don't very often pick up or purchase crust. So if so, totally awesome. Maybe I'll post about it and be like, oh, yippee, or something else like that. But I may not. All right, so either way, $3.47, I cashed out some of my bonus cash. I didn't, I didn't pay anything out of pocket because if you think about it, yeah, I might have spent just under $11, but I got back 15 through Ibotta. And also, I'm tracking towards my turkey on my Ibotta. I have not yet qualified for a turkey because I have had to complete so many offers to get this turkey that I don't even know if I'll even have the time or the effort to put in for this turkey before time runs out. I selected the sides bonus first. Maybe I'm bad for doing that or maybe everyone else is just lucky. I didn't get the turkey just yet. All right, so next transaction that I wanna talk about, it's pretty much um, almost like the transaction that I did the other day, but I had to go ahead and get a filler item because I didn't have two five off 15 coupons. I was hoping, too bad, you know. I couldn't be like, oh, I'll take all your stack of five off 15s if you let me, but I didn't. All right, so this one, I picked up one of these Purcell Pro Cleans. This is on an account that I did not go ahead and pick it up for before. 
there is a sale of $5.99 on the 40 ounce detergent now until Saturday the 18th. When you buy it, there's a $2 off digital low to cart coupon. Also, they are on sale this week. Buy one, receive back $2 in bonus cash with a limit of two per Rite Aid Reward member accounts. And some of us are so fortunate to have $1 or $2 per cell ProClean rebates on Ibotta. So I picked this up for sure. It's an awesome filler item, especially if you have all that great stuff going on as far as the rebate things go. Also, I picked up three more of these Tylenol. I said it made a fiend, extra chain. I was looking at like the arthritis one. And I was like, I would really like to grab it, but it's $12.99 a box. And I was like, it doesn't even make sense with my deal. This just is the best deal because I have these $2 coupon, manufacturer coupons that I received from the uh, doctor's office that I was at um, before the week started or as the week started. And it worked out perfect for my case scenario. I know there is another coupon that actually, um, I think it was Ravi Patel posted about something about a $5 off to pain care coupon. I, and I think it was only for his special members. If you have not joined the special club, I think it's through Telegram, but it's really, really, truly awesome because he shares secret things. I can't figure out the whole Telegram aspect. It's okay. That's fine. Um, but I mean, again, really, really awesome. Another reason for you to go ahead and follow him and join in on his secret club. Also, um, I did want to go ahead and do the Vaseline lip deal. I wanted to do it at all the other writings that I went to. And I found three at this Rite Aid. Only three. Why couldn't there be four? So I can max out the offer on this card. Anyways, at this Rite Aid, they were really, really expensive. They were $2.79. I thought it was $2.80, but $2.79 for this one. And here's the UPC barcode as far as this. I'll share it with you for the Tylenol too. But there is a UPC barcode for this one. These are awesome. Um, I think even like uh, Couponing with Grace said like these are really awesome. And like even Mrs. Empty Nester said these are really awesome. They are really awesome. I'm just letting you know they are. And the second one brings up 50% off because it's buy one, get one 50% off this week. And this one actually was regularly priced at $2.19. Two by there wasn't two of these. But there was actually two of those, one of these. That's it. The whole store. I looked around like four times. And this one rang up for the sale price of the 50% off at $1.04. And when you buy two, you earn back $2 in bonus cash. And it's a limit of two for the week that you can go ahead and do it per Rite Aid Reward member account. Here is the Tylenol so you can see them. What is so awesome about this Tylenol and select other products this week over at Rite Aid. When you buy $30 or more before coupons. You earn back $12 in bonus cash with a limit of two. Here's that per sale UPC barcode in case you want to look at it. Okay, but back to the Tylenol. When you buy 30, you earn back $12 in bonus cash with a limit of two. And there is an awesome Activate Rewards a Windsor Wellness rebate going on. It's a limit of two times you could do it per household. When you buy $30 or more before coupons, you earn back a $10 digital gift card, or you can choose some other reward that um, could be like $10 digital Apple card or something else like that, or Fandango reward, whatever you want. But I choose the digital cards. I add um, the cards to like Redbox to buy like a $10 Redbox gift card or I buy Walmart where I just add it to my Walmart account. So this way, like I can just do like scan and go or something like that with the gift cards and you can do whatever you want with it, but it's digital, but you spent 30. I mean, not only are you getting that awesome bonus cash, but you're getting a real rebate going on too. So really, really awesome, awesome deal as far as the products go with the Tylenol and, you know, different variety of products. So here's how that transaction went. Again, I was fingers crossed hoping because this is my second transaction. I hope everything goes through smoothly. And let me tell you in advance, it did. 
Okay, so here's the transaction breakdown. So I picked up the per sale. My $2 off digital loads card coupon came off, no problem. I had the five off 15. As you see, it came off, no problem. I picked up the first Tylenol. I gave $2 off manufacturer coupon. It applied great. Second one, same thing, $2 off manufacturer coupon. Great. This is the third one, $2 off manufacturer coupon. Great. Picked up those Vaseline lips. You see the first one, $2.79. Second one ringing up at $1.04 at the 50% off price. And then you see the five off $25 or more purchase base coupon coming off. With tax, well, subtotal is $24.79, but with tax, $25.08. I didn't quite have just enough as far as my bonus cash, but I did earn back $21 in bonus cash and about 83 points. Once you hit a thousand points at Rite Aid, you can go ahead and convert your points to $2 in bonus cash. So let's go ahead and go over why did I get back $21 in bonus cash? Okay, so I went ahead and I earned $2 for my purchase of Purcell. Remember that's a limit of two if you wanna do the deal yourself. I earned back $2 for the Vaseline skincare. I earned back the $5 spend booster for the email coupon. When you spend 30 or more this week over at Rite Aid, you earn back $5 in bonus cash with a limit of four separate barcodes you can use, email, social media, website, or circular in on. And then I also, in addition to everything, earned for the $12 for the purchase of Johnson & Johnson Fandango promotion, Imodium, Tylenol, spend 30 or more before coupons earn back $12 in bonus cash with a limit of two, so awesome. Okay, so I did pay $3.47 for these items, but I told you why it was so great and awesome and I thought it was, and we'll see what's going on with that monthly bonus cash challenge later. So I spent $25.08, oh, woe is me. I earned back $21 in bonus cash and 83 cents in Rite Aid Reward Member points. Then I submitted my receipt to the Winter Wellness Rebate online for Activate Rewards. And I earned back a $10 gift card one more time. So that means instead of me paying over $3 for this stuff, total, I ended up making a money maker happen as far as my trip was concerned at Rite Aid. <laughs> then I went ahead and I submitted my receipt for my per sale purchase to Ibotta. And again, same thing like last time, just different account that had the rebate offer. Ibotta credited me back $2.00 for the per sale purchase. So that means that I got back $2 for that in addition to everything all else. So this means my total transactions was a $5.28 money maker over at Rite Aid. So, so awesome. Thank you so much Rite Aid. I really enjoy coming in and taking advantage of the deals and savings. So I do hope you certainly do get a chance to explore your options over at Rite Aid, seeing all the great fantabulous deals they have to offer us this week. Um, there is also another YouTuber that I saw one of their videos just before going ahead and filming this video and it happens to be real deals if you have not yet had an opportunity to follow her and subscribe to her channel i do suggest you do so she just posted this really awesome deal as far as the adidas fragrances gift sets over at rite aid there is a really sweet deal happening if you want to go over to her channel it's at real deals and it looks like it's like a money maker or like, you know, free plus a little bit of a money maker after rebates and coupons and things like that. But like, if you're looking for gifts as far as the holidays go, you know, these Adidas gift sets, they can come in as a little nice stocking filler or something fun for family or friends or someone even at work or that. So 
I do hope you enjoyed my video and sharing with you what I ended up picking up over at Rite Aid this week. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos such as this one. And other than that, thank you so much. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care now. Bye. Thank you, Brady. I love you so much. I hope you have a great, wonderful night. You be safe, okay? Call me if you need a ride. All right, bye.